Hey everybody, Tim Brzezinski here. So Amplify, the company that bought out Desmos last year, uh, they just released an awesome uh, feature for uh, doing t uh, teacher activities in Desmos where you can control the dashboard uh, from your phone as you're walking around the room. Now this is really freeing because you want to be walking around the room with your students as they're engaged in uh, thinking. So in order to do that, what you want to do is go to sign in to Teacher Desmos, go up to where your name is, and you want to click on Desmos Labs. All right, click on Desmos Labs right there and make sure you go to where it says Companion Mode at the bottom and check that. All right, that'll uh, enable this uh, to work. All right, so now let's go back to Desmos Classroom here and let's just find an activity. Uh, I'll pick Dilation Mini Golf here and we'll just create a sample session right here and we'll show you how this works. Single session code, we'll make it active for two weeks, we'll create the invite, right? Um, and so let me just go ahead and uh, copy the student link and I'm gonna join as a student from another account right here. So let's just do that. All right, so here I'm joining as a student. I'm gonna continue without signing in. There we go. So there we go. Now I'm a student in my own activity from one Google account where I signed it in the other. So now here's what you have to do. All right, in order to enable companion mode, what you want to do is once you get to the dashboard on your teacher screen here, okay, you will see a little phone icon right up there. Open companion mode. Press that. Okay, and from your cell phone, you want to take a picture of that QR code right there, which I'm going to do. Voila, there we go. Now I'm going to be able to control this thing here from my phone. Okay, now of course I have to, um, I have to actually log in. With, you want to make sure you log into your Des teacher Desmos account on your phone. That's important. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with Google there. Let me just do that quickly. And here we go. There we go. Sorry about that. I thought it was logged in already. So now here we are. And lo and behold, I'm literally right there. So what does this do? So check it out. Now let's go to the student view. Okay. I'm walking around the room working with students as they're working here. So now I can, as a student, play this. At, at any time as a teacher, I can pause it right there. And if I pause it from my phone, the activity is paused. Okay. Not only that, but another cool feature here is that what you can do what you can do here is actually say you want the students to go to screen five or six. See on my phone, I'm just uh, I'm hitting that arrow right here to go to a screen. Now this will act, this uh, icon will will sync it. So every student now goes to screen seven. If I press sync there, watch the student now is synced to seven, and now they have they're forced to work on seven. If that makes sense, okay. Uh, so now, also, um, if I hit the the picture icon here. I can actually take a photo, right? I, I might be able to take a photo of this or something right here. Let's suppose there was math work right here. I can take a picture, right? I can use that photo and I can choose to present it, if you will, okay? And it'll go up there on my teacher dashboard, which I'll show here if I go back to my teacher dashboard right there, see? Uh, the, it's, I'm now presenting it and now we can have a discussion about certain students work. So this is just a quick snapshot. Um, so make sure you check out the URL that's in the description for this video. Uh, but it's pretty cool. I love this because now I can have my students work on Desmos activities and I don't need to be at my computer in the front of the room in order to um, interact with the, with the platform. It's really, really nice. So be sure to check it out. It's called Companion Mode. I hope you found this video helpful.